All right, here's the two real reasons you're struggling to find clients for your business right now. You're sending cold emails, cold DMs, you're making posts. Nobody's converting. You have no idea why. It's got to be something simple. It is. I'm going to explain what it is, right? So I was watching an interview with Grant Cardone the other day, and you can say what you want about the guy. He's a billionaire, makes over 250 mil a year. He said one statement that fully encapsulated the entire premise of how I've been marketing for four years, right? So if you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel Fazio. I've done 5 million completely online sales by 25 my partners and I have scaled three separate companies to seven figures, marketing agency, consulting software, and we build client acquisition systems for marketing agencies and B2B businesses and guarantee you add a minimum of $10,000 per month a new business or you don't pay at clientessential.com. Link in the description. But this is what Grant Cardone said. He said, your creative ad will not beat my frequency. And if you don't know what frequency is, it's the amount of separate times somebody sees your offer in a given time frame. Right, so if somebody sees your offer seven times per week, it means your weekly frequency is seven. And like realistically, none of you guys have any frequency. Like you, ne you're never in front of people consistently. Now I'm gonna get more into this. I'm gonna explain this. So there's two issues I need to address here. So it's you're probably not marketing at the volume that is actually necessary, and you are not following up enough. And this sounds obvious, but listen to what I'm saying. So let's dive into this first. You're not marketing at the volume that's actually necessary. I'm going to assume something. And it's that you're selling a product or service to other businesses and it's probably somewhere in the $1,000 to $5,000 per month range or it's like a done with you or a hybrid done with you, done for you offer charging like 10K or something. And the best way for me to get you to visualize this is the following. So I made a little money calculator over here and we're going to go over to this. So realistically, you guys are sitting here, maybe you're contacting 10 people that actually like see it per day, right? So let's say your thing's $3,000, like 10 new people, completely new people per day see your thing, right? Like 1% of them actually have an interest in it or like express an interest in it. And when you do get them on the call, you have a 20% close rate. So let's say you want to close 10 deals. To close 10 deals, you need 50 calls. To close 10 deals, you need 5,000 people interested I'll, I'll, I'll assume interested is the same as like a website visit in this particular instance, right? And to close 10 deals at this traffic amount, it's going to take you 500 days to close 10 deals, a year and a half, right? And your monthly revenue will average out to like $1,800. That's not enough, right? So what you should actually be doing, because you're not marketing enough, is that if you put this to 20 you see how the numbers change, right? You put this to 30, you put this to 50, you put this to 1,000, right? And now it's not actually that simple though because you need to understand the things I'm going to explain to you here, right? So you might be saying, but I can just increase the website conversion rate. I can just change this number from 1% to 2%. This is not a conversion rate problem. This is, there's not some special like landing page trickery, change the button color that's going to make your business magically work better. The only thing that's going to make your business foundationally work better, particularly if you're a beginner and you're getting no traction right now, is to have an actually good offer solving a specific problem with a unique mechanism, with the guarantee, and with evidence, right? And you build these things up over time. A lot of the times, you guys are just selling something that nobody wants to buy. So I'm going to leave in the description a link and up here to an offer formulation video, you 100% need to go watch that um, to, to know how to actually make an offer that people want to buy. But now you're saying beyond that, but I can just get more traffic, which is yes, that's exactly the point I'm trying to make. But here's the problem. Most of you, if not all of you are not doing the marketing activities necessary to get your offer in front of the eyes of that many people. So for me to move further, I need to introduce the concept of a conversion window to you. You need to understand what a conversion window is. It's the average amount of time it takes for somebody to initially find out about your offer and then ultimately end up buying it. So point one, finds out your offer exists. End point, purchases it. So how do you make this this journey as close to zero as possible. So let's talk about shortening the conversion window. And just like we were talking up above, Grant Cardone, frequency. They need to see you exist many, 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 many times. You need to market so hard, so consistently, so relentlessly to the point where whatever category of shit you sell, you become the default option. You want people to start permanently associating something with you. And when their conversion window finally elapses, it will be with you. 
right? If you do not do a good job of simply existing for eternity forever in front of your target audience, they will buy your thing, but it won't be from you, right? You will have nurtured somebody on the idea or mechanism something. And if you have not existed with them, if you have not marketed hard enough to them, they'll buy the thing, but it's not going to be from you. You will have done the work to nurture somebody else's conversion, right? So you want to make more money. What you have to do is widen the pool of people in windows in the first place, right? So you want to make more money. We need to do is simply get more people inside of conversion windows with you, right? So this will sometimes be referred to as in the funnel. Some people would define in the funnel as they've opted into some landing page, but I define a funnel as everybody on earth who knows you exist, right? So it's literally a funnel, right? And the problem with what you guys do is the reason your first business failed, your second business failed, your third business failed, your fourth business failed is because you didn't operate the business long enough for conversion windows to actually elapse in the first place, right? Imagine the conversion, the average conversion window is going to be like two, three, four, five months, that's like the average person is going to take to actually buy your stuff, right? So if you're only running outreach for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, oh, this isn't working. This is, uh, this, this is, it's because you've quit all of these businesses that you've tried to run before people's windows actually elapse. And you have not made an effort to actually exist in front of the people who did show interest. And you have not been pumping people into the top of the funnel. That's the reason why nothing has worked for you. You're literally not doing enough, right? So let me, let me try to conceptualize this for you. The more people that know you exist equals the more people that will become aware of your offer equals the more people that will get to your landing page equals the more people that will give you their email equals the more people that will get on the phone with you equals the more people that will purchase from you. So if you want to increase the more people that purchase from you, you need to start here. More people need to know you exist. Also equaling more people need to become aware of your offer. And the more people you need to get more people to your landing page and the people that are in the funnel need to continuously know that you exist. A lot of you guys get some lead and you just leave it. Oh, they don't want to convert right away. Dead lead gone. Can't do that, right? Closing deals is not as simple as get on call, close. Most people on earth are not going to be a one call close. 50 to 80% of the calls are not going to be a one call close. And 80% of the people that are one call closes have been consuming your social media content, watching your videos, reading your emails, engaging with you in any capacity for months on end. They have formed what's called a parasocial relationship with you. What a parasocial relationship is, is when somebody's consuming your stuff, they decide they like you, you don't even know they exist. That's what that is. Which brings me to my next point. You are not following up enough. You're not working people inside of the funnel. They're forgetting that you exist because you just let them go. So tell me if any of these sounds familiar. You get in a call with somebody, they say they're interested to send the invoice, then you send it and then they ghost you, right? You're in a DM conversation with somebody, they say they're interested, you send them info or calendar link, they ghost. Somebody replies to your cold email asking for more info, you send it, they ghost. Somebody messages you first, you send them calendar or more info, they ghost. Somebody comments on a post of yours, you send them a calendar or more info, they ghost. Somebody schedules a call with you, they cancel, then ghost, right? Why does this happen and why does this keep happening to you? Because people have shit going on. There are things going on in their lives. They are busy, their grandma's in the hospital, they're hiring somebody, their uncle is in town, they're having a fight with their wife, their dog is sick, their kid is sick. Things happen, not everybody is ready to purchase right now. Shit just happens, again, they have a conversion window. So like I said earlier, they are going to convert at some point. And if you don't permanently exist in front of them, it's gonna be with somebody else. You will have nurtured somebody else's lead. So here's what you do, right? Throw them in a CRM. 99% of you watching this right now, you don't have a CRM and you don't even utilize the reminders app on your phone. You need to set follow-up tasks. Did they just ghost you? Send them a message tomorrow. No response, send another one in seven days. No response, seven days. No response, seven days. No response, somebody say. If somebody has engaged in a conversation with you, they are no longer a cold lead. They are a warm lead. Warm leads are the easiest leads to close, right? So I want you to compare something 
Like there could be some corporate sales guy, maybe like an AE at some company, and he doesn't even own equity in the business, right? And he is pumping out more follow-up and working people inside the funnel than you are, and you own the business. You own the equity. He's working harder to grow a company that he doesn't even own than you are to grow a company that you do own. He's running laps around you. You are just neglecting all this, and you can't do that. These are warm weeds. You need to keep following up with them. It takes legitimately 30 seconds to send a follow-up. If you have hundreds to follow up, it takes 30 to 60 minutes one time per week, right? You need to stop... You need to stop being so desperate about every single lead. I see this all the time. Guys will be like, oh, I sent this lead and they're not responding. Like, what do I do with it? Just go keep pumping the funnel. Keep getting more leads and pushing them into a conversion window with you in the first place and tastefully follow up with these people, right? You can say stuff like, hey, name, been working with this client and got them these results. Thought you find it interesting. Comment on their post that they're posting, right? Check up messages. Hey, name, how you doing? Saw you guys just started doing this because they did something in their business. Just send the messages and don't get so desperate about one individual lead and keep pumping the funnel. Keep getting people into conversion windows and keep posting on your social media. Keep marketing your offer. Keep your ads on. Keep sending cold emails. Keep sending follow-ups. Keep sending cold DMs. Like keep doing it. Nothing happens in the first one, two, three, four weeks. You need to let people's conversion windows elapse and keep the lead gen on always forever never shut the lead gen off ever right if you want to make a lot of money the only way to do it is get as many people inside a conversion with you as possible and then let the conversion windows elapse right if you're a marketing agency owner or a b2b business we'll help you build a client acquisition system and we will guarantee you add a minimum of ten thousand dollars per month in new revenue or you don't pay like the video subscribe leave a comment i love you see you later